The Bernalillo County District Attorney plans to push big changes to the rule that allows judges to keep suspected criminals behind bars until trial. He says the way the law is now, too many dangerous people are being let out on the streets. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live at district court with both sides of the debate. Rebecca. Yeah, well, Dean and Jess, it was more than two years ago when New Mexico voters passed a constitutional amendment that reworked the way pretrial detention was handled in the courts. But now the DA says they know why it's not working and they plan to fix it. Now, DA Raul Torres says since pretrial detention took effect in January 2017, his office has taken more than 22,000 felony cases. Out of those, he says they have only moved preventative detention on 11% of them. He's proposing a new constitutional amendment that would keep people charged with murder and other crimes that carry life sentences be kept in jail until trial. Suspects accused of other violent and dangerous crimes, even burglary while awaiting trial for something else or already on probation would also be kept behind bars. Not everyone, though, is on board with the changes. Um, it will clarify both um, when district courts are expected to rule on the merits of a motion, what the form of the motion should be, and above all, mandate that the courts rule on the merits set forth um, to justify pretrial detention. However, defense attorneys don't think this is such a good idea. The chief public defender tells us the way the amendment is written, a lot of non-dangerous people will be held in jail. Now, Torres says just as importantly, judges need clarity on the rules because different judges interpret the rules differently. Jess, back to you. All right, thank you, Rebecca. A state lawmaker would have to sponsor the constitutional amendment in the roundhouse. If approved, it would then go to the voters.